So I've covered most of the sketch tools and sketch entities. Uh, there are several left over. Ones that I don't necessarily use as often are ones you probably won't use as often, but I'll go ahead and cover them in this video. So I'll create a sketch on the front plane and draw in a circle at the origin. Then I'm going to go ahead and draw in several lines. And then underneath the trim entities is a tool called extend entities. And that'll extend out a line to the closest entity if one is available. So if I click on this line, or this for example, it'll extend those lines to the closest entity. The next tool here is in the tools pull down in the sketch tools. It's split entities. And this allows you to split up any arcs, splines, or lines that you have within a sketch. I'll go ahead and exit out of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and exit the sketch. The next thing we'll do is select the sketch there and do a control C to copy and we'll go ahead and paste this on the right plane with the control V and then we'll edit the sketch below the linear sketch pattern you see an option called move entities it'll allow you to move selections within a sketch you can also copy or rotate as well as scale and stretch entities and actually a fairly useful tool within the sketch tools is an option called modify and this will automatically select the entire sketch and allow you to rotate as well as translate the sketch so if I hit enter after entering in the 45 degrees, I can flip that sketch around. I can also scale up the part as well as translating it if I want. Aside from that, there aren't too many other sketch tools you can look through here. Aside from that, there aren't many other very useful sketch tools, although you can look through the sketch tools pull down here and see if there are any other tools that you would use.